So welcome ladies and gentlemen to uh, the ultimate match day, isn't it? We are finally at the last game, the very last game of this season. The Champions League final is around the corner. Uh, and there was a little quick video of uh, Mr. Lukaku, who's been phenomenal, hasn't he? 25 goals this season. And considering I didn't really start him a whole lot, I don't think I started him very much in the first seven, eight matches. Probably would have finished top scorer if I had done, but I don't know. I, I didn't think he was pulling his weight, but I certainly got that wrong. So today, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to crank this bad boy up. We are going to go for legend. Just going to give it a bash. I know that's dangerous, really dangerous, because we might not win this. And I'm going to whack this up to 14 minutes as well. So we hopefully will get a lot of chances, drama, action, and everything else in between. Uh, let's just quickly have a look. Competition info, I'm not too bothered about. National teams as well, I'm not fast. So we're just going to simulate these and say yes. That's just for the uh, the selection. I don't really know why I became the England manager. It's kind of been a bit pointless. Uh, we had an offer for Douglas Costa. has been received by Roma, or from Roma. And obviously the, the players there as well. So uh, I'm not probably going to accept that. Look, I've got to make a decision. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be leaving a poll in this video. Probably right about now, so most people vote. Vote for who you want me to be next season. I've been reading the comments and the most of you are saying sort of either stay with Manchester United, go to Real Madrid, possibly um, Napoli's an option. I had a few Barcelonas. I mean, there's some big teams in there. I don't mind playing as a big side. And the reason why is I'm probably only going to get about one more season out of Pez 2019. Maybe two at a push before we get the information that comes out and all that fun stuff. So the battle for the Champions League title is about to begin. There's Mr. Paul Pogba himself with Luigi. So far, one trophy this season. Looking for another one. So we've got an important match. Of course, it's very important. Make sure to take a look at which players are enjoying a boost. Yes, I certainly will be. And of course, Savage has returned from an injury layoff. So we're going to tweak the, uh, the lineup a little bit. Uh, the owner will be in the stands for today's game, putting a performance to make this club proud. Well, to be honest with you, mate, you should be in the stands every game just being committed to this club. So at least you're going to be there. Uh, Luigi says he's got no fear. This might be the most difficult game we've ever faced, but we're not scared. Absolutely not. And we talk about Fred getting transferred. Uh, no, not really worried about that. So yeah, I'm going to leave a poll. As I say in the video, pick which one you want. I will put Manchester United in there. Even if they win, it doesn't mean I'm going to do the next season with Manchester United. Okay, it's just to see what you guys want or what you guys prefer to see who, who I play with. So, uh, you know what? Let's forget about that right now. Let's have a look at the lineup. So let's dive into the game plan. There is a look at Arsenal. I mean, Arsenal are not the greatest, but we're playing on Legend. So it's still going to be challenging. Aubameyang, for some reason, is on the bench. They're starting uh, Lacazette up top so here is a look at the players and as you can see there's a lot of players buzzing so we're going to do some tweaking to this because i've got to play the very best fully fit fully up for it lineup that we have and we'll return in a second okay so i think this is what we're going to go for um i'm getting you know most of the players that i want to put in there are buzzing you can see the flashing away they're excited for today's match so we're going to start De Gea in goal uh, we're going to go for Kempembe and Hernandez. Fantastic news that they're both on blue. I'm expecting Hernandez to win a lot of challenges. Likewise, Kempembe is normally very good in the air. Odriozola's on the right-hand side. Luke Shaw's on the left. We're going to bring in Undumbele. He's buzzing as well. We're going to go for Pogba and Harry. I know they're not flashing. Uh, neither is Savage, by the way. So really in the middle, apart from Kondogbia. But he's on the yellow. And I'd rather play Pogba because he's the captain. We're going to have Rashford on the right, Lukaku up top, and then Douglas Costa is going to be on the left-hand side. I think that is a pretty solid lineup taking on this Arsenal side. So there we go. That is it. Job done. Now, we're going to be playing, because this is technically the Champions League 2020, um, before we get into it, let's have a quick look. There he is. Nice to see he's not wearing a Liverpool jacket, which is good. He's got the uh, OGS. <laughs> tracksuit on there unfortunately United couldn't do the business against Barcelona yesterday but you know they still they still only lost by a goal to nil I didn't really get to see any of it which was a shame um I don't know if I should go for two away kits 
to make it fair here? Well, I don't know. Is it a flip of the coin? No, I'm going to give myself the red. I don't really care too much. I'm going to give Arsenal the green. There we go. But anyway, we're going to be playing at the Alliance Arena, considering this is the 2020 Champions League final, not 2019. Um, it's going to be in Turkey somewhere. I don't have any Turkish stadiums, really. Well, I have a few, but I want to play at Alliance Arena. It's a big stadium. It's nice. We'll play there. It's neutral. It should do the business. Anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy it. The Champions League final. We're on Legend. Hope and pray. I do like to play deep defensive line. It has been working, but on Legend, you never, never know. Let's dive into this massive affair. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Champions League trophy, one of the world's most prestigious tournaments. And there's only two teams remain. Both Premier League sides as well. Manchester United already have clinched the FA Cup. Unfortunately, didn't have what it took to, to win the Premier League. Arsenal have not had a great season. So to be in the final, it's a big bonus for them. And they have to perform. So we take a look at Manchester United playing that traditional 4-3-3. Today it's Rashford, Costa, Lukaku up top, Pogba and Harry in the middle, and Undombele comes into the mix as the DMF. For the Gunners, they're playing a 4-3-3 as well. Welbeck, Lacazette and Iwobi up top. Mr. Ozil sits behind him with Shaka and Ramsey in the middle. So it is a fantastic night of football, isn't it? Conditions could not be any more perfect here at the Allianz Arena in Germany. How will the Gunners start? How will Manchester United start? As uh, Andrea Zola got caught there by Lacazette. Well, United was so close to winning the Premier League, but unfortunately it was Liverpool that managed to do the business. They really just had a sublime season, though Luigi will be disappointed for the fact that United started off the season so well. But today is a different story, and they could possibly win the Champions League back-to-back -back with a victory today. Minimum of 90 minutes, of course, to play. Ball over the top, it's fallen back inside to Monreal. Danny Welbeck, who's of course a former Manchester United uh, man. The ball's delivered back post. Well played, Luke Shaw. Pogba, nice little play by him there. And now Man United can bring this forward. And they've got an overlapping run here for Rashford. Look at the players that Arsenal are bringing forward. It's been laid across to Lukaku. What a start. It's an absolute dream for Manchester United. And this guy cannot stop scoring. Well, if you're going to play the numbers game, it's risky. And that's exactly what Arsenal did. They got caught, and Lukaku has punished them. So that is a really great start for the Red Devils. And if you're a neutral fan, certainly be entertaining now after scoring after just nine minutes. That's a nice little uh, dummy there, but David De Gea comes out quickly. Maybe a little bit of a surprise that Aubameyang starts on the bench. I mean, this is an Arsenal side who have been up and down all season. They have not necessarily played well in the league. But they ended up finishing about 7th place in the end. Kind of like Manchester United last season, as they start to dictate the play here and keep possession. Man United last season ended up finishing sixth, but they won the Champions League. Oh, lovely overlapping run here by Ramsey. Pokes it through. Chance now for Lacazette. And De Gea with a great save. The ball's come across again. And United managed to get away with that one. De Gea has just been in fantastic form lately. Well played, Andrea Zola. Danny Welbeck. It's a good looking ball in. Headed away by Luke Shaw. Flicked on. Lukaku picks it up. And now here comes Harriet. And look at the space out wide here for Marcus Rashford. Arsenal once again getting caught on the counter. Now this is a fast-paced game. Great awareness by Harriet Rashford here, though. He, he just got 
tugged back a little bit by Monreal. And maybe now, trying to slow the game down ever so slightly. You can't see this match being a 1-0. Absolutely not. There's got to be goals, that's for sure. Fernandes and Kempemba at the back. It's a solid partnership. Luke Shaw finding Harrit. Does love a trick or two, doesn't he? Costa once more. Backflick. And Luke Shaw delivers it in. Lukaku was there. Far too much room for him. Oh, Arsenal backed away. Have a look at Lukaku in the middle there. Watch Mr. Number 9. It's a great run that he makes near post. and he Should have stayed with him. Harrit. A lovely feat by Harrit. Oh, it's brilliant. What a run that was. So dynamic, so quick. Look at the acceleration by him. Past one. He's got two players coming at him. Skips past both of them. Just to finish, let him down. David De Gea's distribution. Finds Luke Shaw. Nice turn by him. Pogba. Side to find Undumbele. Back to Harritz. Dispossessed though, and chance for Arsenal now, but a good challenge by Audrey Zola. And then he loses out on it, and watch the run of Lacazette here through the middle. David De Gea was going to stay, was going to come out, and there's the equaliser. As quick as that, Arsenal are level. One counter, one goal. And they didn't stay with Lacazette. He is a threat. He picks the ball up, flicks it off. Hernandez got caught for pace and it really isn't much De Gea could do. He got a hand onto it, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, yellow card without question. Uh, I think he thought Shaka here was going to take the touch away from him, but he didn't. He smartly played it first time. Rashford. He's had a reasonably good game so far. Lays it inside, you say that, and you go and give it away. Header by Hernandez. Pogba holds off his man, and that will be half-time here at the Allianz Arena Champions League final. It's Manchester United 1, Arsenal 1. So the second half begins. Of course, a minimum of 45 minutes left. If we are still level after 90 minutes, extra time and penalties does beckon. Which is never, ever fun to be a part of. Here's Monreal. But we need a winner. That's for sure. Well played, Oggi Zola. Pings it away. And Lukaku, that is absolutely brilliantly done. Oh, Lukaku tried some trickery for absolutely no reason there, didn't he? And a chance to just bring it away. Too much by uh, Danny uh, Welbeck to pick it up after Rashford's heavy touch. Ball put through the middle. Andre Zola's there. He could start again with De Gea. Luke Shaw. A little touch there by Pogba. That wasn't a bad idea. Mustafi. Aaron Ramsey. Awobi with a bit of space. Flicked on nicely. This is better by Arsenal. Ball fed through the middle, but well played Luke Shaw. Doesn't take a risk, clears it away. Arsenal playing very attacking, whereas United are sitting a little bit deeper. They know they can catch the Gunners on the counter if needed. As Pogba looks to play a fantastic ball through the middle. Lukaku, what can he do? Not a whole lot. It was on his right foot. It was straight at Leno in the end. And the first change, Mkhitaryan. Former United man comes on. There's Harrit. Finding Andrea Zola. It's a good challenge by Shaka. Andrea Zola's got to get back as quick as he can. Ball's played across. Oh, this is a real chance! And they've scored again! Arsenal have turned this around. Lacazette picks up his second. 
and suddenly Manchester United are in danger of losing the Champions League final still plenty of time to spare but this is sloppy Hernandez yet again leaving the space behind so we still have plenty of time but United have got to be uh, careful now that they don't go too gun ho maybe they can get an instant reply Mesut Ozil well played Harriet. lovely play by him there skips past his man Luke Short regains the ball now how will Arsenal play now will they go defensive which sometimes is uh, a little bit risky as well so you start to invite that pressure on yourselves you can still they're still closing down relatively quickly here and Dembele does find Audrey Zola, although he's let it run past his body he should keep it on and he does a loose pass by Kempemba ball swung out the other way Luke Shaw gets up well Pogba bit of a battle in the middle flicked by Mkhitaryan holding he played Hernandez good idea plays it through the middle and the first time effort it's not far away at all much better second half this by Arsenal Good ball through the middle there and good effort. And Man United's first change, it's Malcolm on for Rashford. Well played, Douglas Costa. Back to Luke Shaw. Decided to uh, bring it forward himself. Harrit. Montrezola now with some space. Managed just to keep it on and deliver it in. It was a really inviting ball, but a good defensive clearance by Mustafi. Well, Socrates there. It will be Malcolm to take the corner. Too close to Leno. Luke Shaw back to Malcolm. Undumbele. Costa too slow on the ball. Ozil just taking it away from him. And this is a chance, Arsenal have got numbers. Ramsey lays it back outside. Lacazette, he's on course for a hat trick, you know. Well played, Kempemba. Nicely tidied up. Ojozola now. Fed out wide. Costa. Look at the space here for Luke Shaw to bring it into. Just running out of steam as the game draws on. Arsenal are going to make another change. Kalasinic comes on for holding. He's played relatively well today as a right back. And Pemba just giving him a shove, telling him to uh, get a move on. And United's final two changes. On comes Savic and Martial. Harry was just waiting for that one, wasn't he? A bit of a gift. Gave it away. Run through the middle. Lacazette. Up against Hernandez, Kempemba did really well to come back, although he's lost it in a very, very silly position. Oof, United are taking a real big risk. Seven minutes to spare. That's not a good ball by Andrea Zola at all. Sloppy place to give it away. Lacazette turns, feeds it up the line. United win it back. Savage a good idea but just too much on it Shaka time is ticking away United fans on the edge of their seat likewise is so Arsenal fans are just trying to prepare themselves but here's a chance for Martial he's got the space ahead of him Malcolm Martial can he score oh he's hit the post can you believe that? Could that be the turning point? Literally a millimetre away from equalising. And suddenly now Arsenal are on the ascendancy. Well played, Harrit gets it out wide. Flicked on. Pogba, lovely turn. Flicked on again. Malcolm now. He's got no support. Can he score? Oh, he should have hit it. Why didn't he hit the ball? 
wanted the perfect chance but it's just not possible and it looks like Jesse could possibly seal the deal and he has Arsenal will pick up the Champions League final winners trophy moments ago Malcolm could have possibly equalized he didn't and now the Man United fans disbelief absolute disbelief that's a great counter and it's a great finish as well so the referee looks at the watch and there it is the full time whistle is disappointment for United it was a fairly even game but at the end of the day it was Arsenal who just had enough firepower to pick up the win I mean look at it 7-6 to six. it's not like we got dominated did we I don't know I wanted to crank it up to legend just to, to see how we would do and yeah 56 to 44 percent out of the match today Lacazette with the two goals so there we have it ladies and gentlemen uh, thoroughly disappointed with that uh, that chance at the end I thought I could take one more touch because I knew if I shot early what's going to happen the goalie's going to save it like they do I wanted one more ah uh, one little touch little touch with Malcolm before striking it and then Arsenal go and catch me on the break unbelievable so there we have it it was actually a decent month to be honest four wins one draw one defeat Lukaku seven goals 7.1 overall ah it is what it is I guess and uh yeah I'm not going to worry about too much about those so that's about it that's it that's the season done and dusted there's team of the month Fred's in there with Lukaku both uh, claiming a spot and let me know your thoughts as well your best player of the season who do you think is the best who has really been uh, the best player for you I mean I think Lukaku without question has been uh, phenomenal and uh, really has been uh, a different class uh, but they have said we've decided to offer you a contract extension even after they wanted all that I still think at the end of the day you look at our season there we came third, although we had the same points as first. We won the FA Cup. We got the runners-up in the Champions League. It wasn't a bad season. I think if Man United got that in real life, people would say, okay, not bad at all. In fact, a hell of a lot better than what we're used to uh, seeing. The UEFA Champions League just ended. Yeah, we know we're runners-up, disappointing, and our missions are probably not going to be great. Uh, I've only got so much goodwill. Maybe it was a mistake to stick with you. It's up to you to prove your worth to the club. A tough loss to take. The bitter taste of defeat is not one that I'll forget anytime soon. Yeah, well, you didn't mind it when we won the FA Cup, mate. You were delighted with that performance. So we have 37 million in the budget. Now, uh, let's actually have a look. Uh, we can't see our missions now because, yeah, they must be all done and dusted. But, yeah, there's the offers we have, ladies and gentlemen. City and Manchester United. Um, now, the real question as well is... If I do stick with United, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I still don't know 100% what I'm going to be doing. But if I do, do I restart from fresh uh, with possibly the new transfers and everything and we start again? Or do we carry on with the one we already have started right here? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts below. Obviously, I like to get some input from you guys because you are the guys watching uh, these videos. So we have lots of things to do. But we'll be back in the next episode because we'll round everything off. I don't want to make any executive decisions right now. I need your input. Uh, and we will be back with probably just of an end of the season review video showing all the different leagues and everything else. So if you're interested in watching that, fantastic. Otherwise, we will get back to the gameplay very shortly when the new season starts. So don't be, uh, be afraid, obviously, to vote. Leave your vote for who you want me to be. I'll leave that at the beginning of this video. Um, so make sure you do pick that as well as your thoughts on the best player. It wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. Arsenal, fair enough. They won. Yes, I put it on Legend. We lost, but we didn't exactly get overplayed. I mean, we really didn't. Legend didn't seem too bad for me there. I was just a little bit lapse uh, at, at different times of the match. But until next time, hope you guys have enjoyed this season. Subscribe for more. We've got a lot more content to come, of course. PES 2020 news, hopefully just around the corner now, a few months, I'd say. And that's going to be exciting. But until next time, take care.